Hi, I'm John, the Money Systems Engineer, and these next two posts, the first one will be dealing with the Davos question of the economy. Are you confident the global growth will be restored in 2009? And the environment, will the environment lose out to the economy in 2009? Part two will be, should company executives have a code of ethics similar to doctors and lawyers? And will the Obama administration improve the state of the world in 2009? The Davos debates, the environment, their question. Will the environment lose out to the economy in 2009? So, no discussion about what can be done to save the environment. Just, will the environment lose out to the economy in 2009? Well, listen, the guy who just, what's he going to do? Is he going to dump that toxic sludge down into the public sewer? Or use the thousand bucks to pay his rent on his building? Or is he going to not put in the scrubbers in the smokestacks and pollute the whole place to use the thousand bucks to make his mortgage payment? You know, that's what's the problem. As long as you have a death gamble mort gage where not everyone can survive, someone must be dumped into poverty and them and their family must suffer the consequences, People will cheat, people will lie, people will steal. It's a survival instinct. You're playing musical chairs with money. And the guy who comes up without money ends up with no food in our planet. With his kids living in the car, no more home. Dispossessed by the loan sharks who want eight houses to live in. So we have to fix the money system. Nothing else can help. Interest deranges the brain. People who've played musical chairs with money all their lives. When you were a kid, did you ever help your little sister get on her chair after the music stopped? No, because you'd get knocked out. Musical chairs is a look out for number one elimination kind of game. And when you have an elimination kind of game, looking out for number one and greed pay off. Helping your neighbor and charity often get punished. You don't have it when you need it, and they can't help you back. So, playing mortgage creates a mental paradigm that people just cannot believe that the world can be turned nice. But, just like musical chairs, if you add the extra chair, and you now have equality between people and chairs, well, now you might take a moment and help your little sister get on her chair before you go looking for yours, because it's not a function of dying, it's a function of who gets the bigger chair. And, you know, mine is a slightly bigger chair to help your little sister. So anyway, getting rid of the death gamble is the only way we can save our planet from extinction. We look at our environment dying around us, extinction of the species, more and more pollution all the time, with no one being able to do it. They're working it, not letting it grow so fast, not cutting it down. They're aiming at reducing growth. Imagine not trying to stop it. So they are completely out of control and we are facing a life and death situation here and all we have to do is fix our money to survive. So it's a paradigm shift. If no one has to pay back more than they got originally, no one's going to get foreclosed on unless they're really, really bad. And even at any foreclosure, it's just cash out and start new again at something else. So. Here you have your chance at Davos to explain that this is a silly thing to do. The environment, the extinction of species, all of this can be ended if we would just come up with enough money to save ourselves. So nothing is more important in our planet than fixing our malfunctioning, mortgage, death gamble banking system. And that's why the people at Davos have this power to do it. And they'll have this power every year thereafter. Except we'll probably lose 100 million dead people in the next year to poverty. We wouldn't have lost if these guys had got organized and solved the problem now. So the stakes we are gambling are frighteningly high. And we have an opportunity here to turn off the death gamble switch. And end up with a life kind of a game where everyone can play, everyone can survive. So, it's just like the poor poacher who's going to end up eating the last elephant. Tisk, tisk, you should be punished. Well, people will always choose to survive, usually, and break co cut corners, break laws to survive. And as long as we're living under a law of the jungle where some must die, how can you expect the economy to have any chance against the economy? Against the, how can you expect the environment to have any chance against the economy?